Today I'm going to teach you how to create a searchable database. Having a searchable da database is pretty valuable as it allows you to retrieve information in seconds and provides visibility to our team or clients. So let's create one together today. Before we dive into the actual application, let's get the data right. The first thing you see on Echo are the data connectors. Here, are, here you have the option to collect data from CSV files, APIs, databases, and many other places. Feel free to check out our data engineering series to make sure that your data is set up correctly. So let's upload a very simple CSV file first. So within the CSV preview, you have an option to change the schema and also make sure that everything looks structured and clean. Let's hit upload. For such a smaller file, it will only take a few seconds to upload. And next, let's dive into one of the data app project. So the first thing you see will be the home page. And this of course is what your users can see as well. So let's go to elements and drag a table element inside of the page. So of course, the next thing to do is to change the data source to the uh, resource we have just uploaded called trade indices. So now you can see, you can preview the table you have just uploaded. And the next thing to do is to create a search bar for users to use um, so that he or she can render the results from the table. Within the search bar element, let's define an interaction for it. So after search, let's make sure that we'll find the data. Let's click trick, tr trade indices and get table data and let's define the column that the user can search from. This little code snippet defines a variable for the user so we can render the results from the, from the table. So let's click update. And now you will have an interaction, whole action flow pipeline defined for your search bar and also the table. And the next thing to do is to preview it. So now you can not only see the table, but you can also insert inputs to render the results for the table. Let's try USA. Boom, you can see USA in there. Let's try different values. Great. So the searchable database now works. So the next thing to do is really to share this with your clients or teammates. Let's go to share and let's publish it first and then with the link. Now you will have a working searchable database for your users.